Hello and welcome in this course. In this course, we are going to look at this full stack events application and you can see here how this application will look like. First of all, before I forget, I'll show you where I got this design and this design, I got it from Dribbble and I'll show you also how you can get your own design when you are creating an application. If you're not great at designing, don't worry. I'll show you how to do that and to get ideas when you're trying to come up with a design that is suitable for your project. So let's scroll down or first of all, let's see what this here navbar here contains we have this here we have these links here as you can see them here and also we have this button on the top right here so when you click on this it will give you this form here in order for you to fill in if you want to get notified if it in every event that will be uploaded and then you can click here back go back home and then it will load and then of course you'll be redirected back to the home so also we'll be having this here the input for location then you select the date the prices and also the events here when you click here you'll find all the event depending on the filters that you have entered here so let's scroll down also you'll see here that we have the events and this event are the will be arranged from the latest one to the events that are well, or the events that will be will have been uploaded the last one or the that have already stayed in this application or this system so we can scroll down and you can see here we have our footer you can see our beautiful footer here so this is what the home page contains but we can just maybe go back here and when you try and search for an event you can input various filters here so for example i can just add like something like a event that will be held on london and then we can click the date maybe we can select the date let's go to the maybe april here or february here because this is where i started coding this application and i'll say february 1st and also here i won't a, i won't select any prices but you can see you can select according to the prices and then you can see here you can select according to the type of the event maybe it's a online or physical or also you can add the branded if that is what you want so let's find the event when you click now this button it will apply these filters so that you can get all the events that are, will be from random or will be hold on London and in this specific date. So I'll just click on this and let's go to the let's go to the event here that I will be hold on this on London and on this date. And you can see here we have our filters applied here. But I want to just delete London and I want to remove all the filters that we have here. And maybe we can see what what it will entail so what i'll do i'll just reload so that we don't have this event here and you can see now when we reload and we don't have any event you can see all the list of the event that we have here so you can see every event all events here but we can just start by filtering the event also here you can see london and you can see in london we have two events here and also we can select the date and when we are selecting the date if you click like this Thursday here April or here the 13th Thursday here in the April 2023 you'll see we don't have any event that will be held on this date on in London so let's go back and in February here we have event that we have added the date here so you can just click on this first and you can see we have two dates uh, we have these two events here so let's go back first of all let me start again so you can see here we have these blue links this blue links is because of the link 
uh, link that's why we have it but we'll be removing it in our project so let's go back and let's say or even we can uh, if we don't have any filters we can say find events and when you are finding this event you can see here we have all events selected here so we can say maybe london so let's say london just like that and you can see here we have these events here now we can go back here and then select the date maybe it's february here so it's february 1st and again i want to select the event type maybe i can say online and you can see we don't have online so if i say physical you can see we have this physical will be holding in a physical and then when we click here we can see the range of prices here maybe for the tickets so you can see if we have zero dollars to five hundred dollars for the event we can select that and you can see if we click that it will filter this event so you can see it here so again we can go back here also and when we scroll down here we can go back and you can see here of course we just show limited events and events which are very latest so what we can do here we can just click load and you can see we'll be redirected here where we have all the events in this uh, database that is so you can see the events here and now you can start using this here the left side here where you can apply the filters so you can also do you can also click this event if you want to show the details of this event and here you can see you, you can you can go to the event detail page here and this is where now you can see all the details about this this event here so you can see from the event schedule here and you can see the date the praise and if it is online the date you can set even the reminder and this reminder will work such that if the date uh, to event has remained like two days will get an email telling you hey rem remember you have you set a reminder to attend certain event or this event that is and you can see here we have event schedule and you can see this table here is giving you like a breakdown of what will happen on that day and we have another table here for inclusions and exclusions here you can see here we have inclusions and exclusions here also here you can see you'll get the overview of this event here and also if we have the events photos and videos will be included down here so you can see how our application works like that so i'll just go back and uh, maybe uh, let us scroll or reload it again and you have seen the functionality down there and here you can see these cards here hold the events so you can see if it is the tickets cost money or it is a free event so you can see all this here and again let's go and uh, see our admin dashboard so you can see here also we have this admin dashboard here and that we'll be using to add events and also maybe to delete if it is necessary to delete the events but most mostly i want the events to be deleted by our background services and i will explain that in a moment so this is where we'll be adding our event i'll be seeing all the events and maybe we'll be updating our events here and also this here this is a uh, it a template of dashboard that i come across in one of youtube channel here and i'll show you where i got it and how to use a template that you have gotten from anywhere else so that's very uh, fantastic according to me so we can see here also we have a explanation or a drawing that will explain how our application will work so first of all we have this front end here and our front end here will be building it using next.js this is react framework that is next next.js that is it is called next.js if you haven't used it this is the time that we'll be using it here we'll see that we have our backend and our backend here it is 
it is retro it is a retro bit different because a backend will have like two folders and one folder will be for backend or our api and the other one will be for background services for our api will be performing CRUD operations and also it will be communicating with db this CRUD operation is create read update and delete operations in our database here and also we'll be using node.js and template using ejs and here we'll have our background services and now here this is where interesting things will happen because here we will see that actually we'll be able to delete events so let me first of all not uh, delete this because this is not delete email this is delete uh, event because event will be deleted automatically by our background services let's say the date for that event has passed it will be being deleted automatically there's a system that is called this background services here and it will be running after a certain time uh, a certain time and or a certain period like maybe after five five minutes it will be running and then checking our database here if the event the event is outdated or the date have passed for that event meaning that that event has already occurred so it will delete by by default or it will delete it automatically and we will not need to delete from this admin admin dashboard here so that's what will be happening also when the person has sent or has uh, has set the reminder this background services will be able to send emails to them and telling them hey remember you set the reminder for this event and also you have a uh, like a uh, not a newsletter this is an email that you are being sent you are adding here if you want to be you want to be notified every time an event has been added so you'll be sent an email if there is an event that have been added and also we'll be using the same technique like it will be this background services here is a program that will specify the time it will be running so here we'll be using something uh, called cron and this one will set the time that we want our our program to run maybe after 10 minutes and then it will be looking if there is an event that have been added to the database and then it will be sent it will send emails to those people who have subscribed to our newsletter or using this this form here so i'm hoping that all of you are understanding what i'm trying to illustrate here and here also you can see here we have communication from our front end to our api to our database but we here in our background services our background services is only communicating with the database it is not communicating with the api nor it in, it is not also uh, communicating with our front end here so this application will show you a lot of things and in the youtube here i have never seen somebody building this application and i'll show you various things like how to structure your application to look uh, good and also how to to do everything in a professional way so i want to show you our code so here you can see here we have our code so let me cross this so we'll be having these four folders here so you can see the admin dashboard here this will be our admin dashboard also we'll be having our api here this is our api and our backend also because our backend remember it is constituting of two folders this api and this background services here and this background services is the one that will be responsible for templating or sending this template into our emails and also scheduling task so let me show first of all what scheduling task mean and in here you can let's go and maybe look at something like here or let me let us look at something like this one here and you can see here we are connecting with our database that is mongol and then you can see here we are sending or we have uh, this cron dot schedule here and this is running after every second here so we have set this uh, this 
run here function run after every second and i'll show you uh, how to do this using the cron here and you can see after every second it is uh, running all this or it's coding all these functions and these functions here you can see they are coming from now our it's coming from uh here from this uh, help us uh, from this email services here so that's what we'll be doing i'm hoping that you're excited so if you're excited now you can like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel because we'll be starting a, a series of videos in order to create this project so see you in the project i'm hoping that you're excited and if you're excited show me the love by liking this video